Have you ever looked at the BTF and thought, I bet I could run a game on this? No? Just me? Well, let me introduce you to the most guest idea I have ever shipped to the internet. A full-blown game engine that exports your games as BDFs. You heard me right. No AXE, no HTML builds, just pure, clean, business form finding BDF gaming. Why? Because someone ran Doom in a BDF, then they went even further and booted up Linux on a BDF. So naturally, I thought, okay, now it's my turn to run something. I started off simple. Let's make a grid, put a player on it, and move the player around. Sounds easy, right? Well, turns out PDFs have JavaScript support, but it's not your typical document with element by ID kind of vibe. It's more like you can maybe put a script on a form field, and maybe it'll fire, and maybe the moon will be aligned correctly. And the only place for documentation about the scripting API for PDFs is Adobe's Acrobat's documentation, which is so bad. You can attach JavaScript to things like buttons and input fields, but what's interesting is that form fields actually have more scripting power than buttons. After some time, I got it to work, and you can move the player around the grid using input from the keyboard. Next step was making an actual game, and I went with the hello world of game dev, Bonk. Two puzzles, one ball, one extremely dumb bot opponent. The logic was entirely built using the custom JavaScript API, which is limited, outdated, and not really designed for anything close to real-time interaction. Also, there is no proper way of getting the user input, so I ended up putting an input field with a onKey press event and checking what key is pressed. Then I used it in interval to simulate a standard game loop. With some more struggle, I managed to get Pong working. You have an input field for movement, and it works falsely. But even with all that jank, I still wanted more. So I built PDF Engine the Dev, a full-blown web-based game engine that exports actual playable PDF games. It's a tool with a UI, a code editor, an inspector, and a PDF export pipeline that turns your browser-made game into a playable document. Let me break it down for you. When you have a PDF Engine the Dev, you are dropped into a canvas. From here, you can add text, buttons, input fields, and images. You can also move and resize them on the canvas, use the inspector banner to speak properties like color, size, position, set events like on click or on key press, and in the game code tab, I bundled in some helper functions to update positions and to get fields. Also, I'm using Swirl to make the engine, and I handled exporting on the client side, so no backend is involved. Now, this wasn't smooth sailing. PDFs are not meant to be game canvases. There is no function to draw images. You are working with fields as UI components, and every interaction is a workaround. Oh, and debugging? Good luck with that. It doesn't even exist. Also, some features only work on Adobe's Acrobat Reader, and not in the Chromium PDF Reader. I love it. I hate it. It's beautiful. Also, I'm hosting a PDF Game Jam. Top three projects will win prizes, and the winners will be picked by community votes. It's all going down on Discord. Link is in the description if you want to join. So yeah. I made the game engine, but it exports to BDFs. I don't know if I am proud or scared, maybe both. If you want to try it out, go to BDF Engine Dev. It's also fully open source. If you have any questions, let me know. Big thanks to my Patreon and Ko-Fi supporters, because of you I can keep making cool stuff like this. Hope you enjoyed this video, see you in the next one.